Okay, so you're saying how do we take thoughts captive? Yeah, you know, because, yeah. Yeah, see, there is a way we can handle the thoughts, but before, if you see, you know, I believe in Roman 12, it says, give yourself as a living sacrifice. Okay? And and then further, if you read, it's saying, those who have done harm to them, you do good to them. Okay? So by doing it, what you do is, you, you put them into shame, and they will turn towards goodness. So, you know, the, the best way to deal with everything, all the spiritual warfare that we are going through, is to give yourself as a living sacrifice, which is a sacrificial thing what the Lord told us. You know, Jesus told us, he told us, deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow me. So denying self is something like giving yourself as a living sacrifice. So it's, it's you know, if you want the clarity of this scripture, because this scripture, I cannot say, I, if I give example, then people will make it a pattern. So in every circumstances, you learn to deny yourself. You know, today what the Lord was speaking is, and our Father was speaking is, you know, if you lose, you will gain everything. But we don't lose. We don't try to lose. And those who learn to lose, they have no problem with the thoughts. What happens is when, when a thought comes, we will go into a dialogue mode with the thoughts and we'll reason with the thoughts. That's the biggest mistake. Okay. So any thought that comes, let's say for an example, I don't know what, what kind of a thought you have, but let's say any thought that is coming, which let's say for an example, let's say a, a, a myself and a brother and the brother has done some harm to me and the thoughts are coming. Why you have not told that, you know, that brother has done that, you know, the various thoughts can come up. So what I'll do is I will don't engage with the thought. When the thought comes, which is coming against my brother, what I'll do is I will stop the thought by saying, he is my brother, all is fair with him. So I'll not go into the thought pattern. No, I'll, I'll, because any time you debate with the thought or your mind, mind will win because they know all your weaknesses. Because every time you felt bad, that is recorded into your heart or your mind or, you know, in your subconscious as a bad patch and that becomes a trigger. So mind knows all your triggers and, you know, all these thought patterns are surrounding, you know, surrounded by the triggers. So the best way you don't allow thought to come to a trigger and it, that triggers you and you go into a, you know, that, uh, what do you call it, a, a spiral, downward spiral. The best is give a good report, good report to thought, thought that is coming against anyone saying, no, he's my brother, he's my sister. I'm not going to indulge into it. And then you deny yourself. A am I making any sense to you, Daphne? Uh, deny deny yourself uh, in the sense, in, in, I'm talking about thoughts, not in. Oh, okay, then then you have to you have to tell me what is the thought, then we will reason with the thought. I mean, we'll discuss around that. Thought. Yeah, it can be anything. It can be anxious so, thoughts. Be, be specific. Be specific. Then because see, you 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 are giving me a broad like you know. If I start from Bombay, I can go to anywhere. I can go to Australia. I can go to Pakistan. I can go to Dubai. You know, the, our broad, uh, way is very broad. So you have to narrow it down so that we can deal with the issue. Yeah, so like say uh, anxious thoughts about my children. So uh, Jesse was, uh, yesterday I was talking to Jesse and she said, you continuously bless. I mean, speak uh, blessings. Uh, don't let that anxious thoughts, uh, you know, uh, consume okay. you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, he, uh, so, yeah, blessing. I mean, instead of worry, uh, whatever it is, just start uh, speaking their future and, you know, like okay, a blessing. Okay. So okay. That okay. encouraged me, yeah. Okay. See, you know, what Jesse said is right. I mean, he, 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 what she knows, she is telling. Now, if a thought coming about security about your children, now you have to deny yourself. Are you responsible for your children? No. Let me answer. Who is responsible? No, no. Who is responsible? God, God is responsible. So they are responsible. Yeah, he is. He is responsible for them, and they are responsible for themselves, and they are responsible to God. Okay. So now, if you know this truth, then you deny your responsibility, and you hand over that responsibility to God, and know that He is better take you know caretaker than you or anyone on the earth. And let me tell you, all our children came with the provision they have. I mean, everything, their, their, their future is secured in him, okay? 
but what happens is as a parent we you know this actually it is not about your children it is about to destroy your peace you know that the familiar spirits is playing with you to destroy your peace yeah you know? so you have to be in rest by denying your responsibility give the responsibility to god and just rest but even if you think even if you worry that's not going to change it see blessing is you know why we need to bless you i mean there are many people say i know i bless my children all that but as a parent we always bless our children okay who who tell me a parent who is not blessing but the children will do great if the parents be in rest they are unnecessarily going to god and blessing you know i bless i bless my children why you have no, to do that not god to god no no i'm i'm I, I, i'm not telling you i'm not telling you I, there are some people they go to god and you know, i prayed for my children and all that they they take example from the job everything they do it but why we have to do all that our children our children are god's children okay they just came through our womb and we think so many times why the worry comes to us because we think we are the owners we are the sole responsible for our children and you know in a way we, we as a parent we try our best to give them okay that is also good i mean everything is good in that sense but i think the more we rest and allow them to be who they are that will set them free more because if you see most of our children most of the parents they impose life direction on their children they don't allow children to take their choices ultimately children will take when they are about 20 or 23 24 they they will understand you know they'll come to a place they'll understand my parents doesn't understand i will take my call okay anyhow they will take it but if you allow them to take their own uh, responsibility if you allow them to choose their own uh, calling or a direction in their life when they are very small like you know 13 14 15 years if we allow them by the time they will leave us in indian uh, setup children leave after 23 24 and by that time they will be very mature okay so this is this is actually i'll tell you, I'll, i'll most of the parenting parenting is based on insecurity based on fear and we those who know god shouldn't be in fear see father is on throne he is taking care of all of us he is actually we are also his responsibility forget about our children we are also his responsibility he is taking care of all of us so you should be in rest yeah true so you know see the prayer thing or this christian preachers you know let for, for an example a church let's say running last 20 30 years and the pastor is preaching 30 years that means how many in, in each and each year around 50 sundays so 50 into 300 okay uh, 50 into 30 150 sermons and it, sometimes it's even more no not 300 1500 sermons what is going to preach you know out of this 1500 i'm just giving an example out of this 1500 sermons i believe even not 2% is really coming from god rest everything is just management he is giving the uh, you know techniques of art of living so because mm. of this these things there are many formulas came you know even the seven mountains what the church is speaking i the, i mean it's irrelevant if you compare with the heaven in bombay i i, I kind of attended uh, one uh, one meeting they are sending children into mountains are by you have to understand what is their calling you can't i mean not everything is mountain so you know the we christian have become copy paste technology you know we learn from one one person and we paste it and you know shape it with our caliber and we give it as ours so this all copy paste thing is going on you know we has to learn to be in rest our children respond god is our children responsible not be similarly all these issues any 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 thought that is coming you have to learn to deal with so having said that all that i also go through this right but i also go through issue and you know uh, about my daughter and about certain things but ultimately i come to a place but i am in rest okay i am not at all worried i sometimes i may be a sad but that's a different story but i don't allow 
I, I don't go into worry. I'm just relaxed. I am in rest. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I, one of the techniques uh, is uh, the moment that thought comes is you start speaking the opposite. Like, you know, like say say something positive. And that thought automatically. Yeah, no, no, no. My, my issue is, let's say somebody is coming at your door and he is shouting and he is, you know, saying all bad things and then put, trying to put you down. The wisdom is not to give attention. You, 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 this is, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thought, no, if you deny, okay, how many of you have seen the Kantara movie? Which one? Yeah. <coughs> no, Kantara, Kantara, Kantara. Kantara, Kantara. Yeah. Okay, I so, see. okay, so Kantara movie, you know, that guy, I think in e e each year, a certain point of time, God comes on him. Okay, God means, you know, they, they call it God and we know which God they are. Okay, so this man waits, he prepares himself to receive that spirit that is coming upon him. Okay, and Sometimes spirit does its own way, but the man allows spirit to come. Everything, I mean, we don't, I mean, I'll tell you again, I have to say, we do not know who we are. If we don't allow, nothing can come to us. Thought, if it is coming, if you learn to ignore the thought, first is deny yourself and just finish it off. How many times it will come? 5, 6, 7, 10, 20. If you learn to ignore it, the thoughts will vanish. It will come and fall at your feet. But if you go outside, like the man is shouting and saying all bad words, if you go and you shout him back, you, you, will, you, you, you go, you, you're coming to a place of tussle. Okay? Sometimes you may win, sometimes that man or the person will win. Why to give that 50-50 chance? Just ignore. Unless you allow, nothing will disturb you, Daphne. Yeah, that is true. But ignoring, I'm not very sure about ignoring. Uh, but I mean, at least now I'm at a stage where I begin to speak like, you know, not not accept that. Yeah, I mean, if it is helping you, if it is helping you, do it. Okay. But I would say, why speaking? I mean, so many things we are speaking like, like, why you have life, you are life. See. It is positive affirmation, all that is good. People are doing it, okay? They are doing, they are doing. It's a formula. Somebody, I mean, for some, it may be a revelation for a particular person, but somebody spoke from the pulpit and it become a pattern. Everybody is affirmation, affirmation, affirmation. I, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. Okay, the best way for you is when the thought comes, ask Jesus what to do it. He will give, he will give you a right guidance. Mm, okay. You think if I make a problem, I will give you a problem? Yeah, I mean, at that point, to hear from Jesus, you have to be at peace and still. No, it's, it's, it's I'll tell you, Daphne, you have so much doubt on yourself. I'm sure if you ask Jesus, he will reply. His name is Word. How can Word be silent? Yeah, and he is speaking to you. If he is not speaking to you, you would have not been in this group. But you, okay. have, you I want to add one more. Say, say one more. You can add. We selectively, we selectively listen to God. We think God will answer certain things. I tell you, you. I mean, I have asked so many nonsense questions to Jesus, and he patiently replied to me. You, you, <laughs> you go. You dare to ask him. You ask anything, anything, anything. Don't think he's God, what he will think. He knows everything. He has gone through this journey, what we have gone through. He knows the difficulties that we have. See, he, he is not an Aaronic priest who just appointed. He become high priest by being in our place. Okay, so he is always compassionate and he understands you fully. No one in this life understands us. Not even our spouses, but God understands. So just go to him, whatever condition you are in, ask him. And many of the spiritual battles know, it's very easy if you listen to God. If you listen to preacher like me, you will have formulas. <laughs> yeah.
because what 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 is what is what is applicable to me cannot be applicable to you yeah correct all of us have to yeah i'll tell you i mean sneha i don't know sneha may have a different opinion i am really against this counseling business pardon pardon sridhar no i am really against this counseling business counseling i tell okay. counseling the okay. people who go for a counseling actually they know their answers they just going to people to get counsel to get approval most no, of the counseling they want, they want crying shoulder yeah crying shoulders and you know sometimes they need just approval they already had answers they just wanted to confirm from outside source i mean i mean what i mean if somebody coming to me with the problem turn him towards god and it is god said take and that guy said take why we are taking and take i don't understand good freedom nobody is thinking like you i mean really i mean see what we are doing is we are wasting his time or her time see if he i'll tell you i i many times i spoke to people i said if you are not listening to god okay and i told if you are not listening to god i am i am actually a waste in your life i am useless in your life if somebody is not listening to god i am useless in their life what i will tell okay sneha you can add yeah uh, what daphne is uh, thinking and feeling i can connect uh daphne uh, sometimes though god is speaking we feel we are not hearing it or maybe we don't want to hear it even i have experienced it many times uh so that time what i do is i say that jesus if you had this thought how will you handle it <laughs> then immediately then immediately i get the answer i'll tell you uh, this uh, uh, in my three children mohit has hurt me the most okay and i was not able to deal with it and uh, it was killing me inside i am praying uh, i feel i can't hear god or maybe i am become deaf and uh, i mean when uh, for me mohit uh, uh, whatever he says it hurts me the most other two children it's okay i can take it but mohit i'm not able to take it at all i'm crying i'm hurt it's hurting me and i'm not able to overcome and then i said jesus if you were, if you are in my place how will you handle this instant i got the answer jesus must instant, be thinking kya jesus must be thinking what sneha you are pulling me into your shoes ask me i'll tell you why you are pulling my dad, me into i'll, place. I'll pull him <laughs> he's my dad i'll pull him full time Uh, Jesus, okay, Jesus so then instant dad. Jesus okay listen to this yeah Jesus is uh, your uh, elder brother okay okay mm-hmm. okay so uh, instantly has to get mm-hmm. the answer and i was able to deal with it and you will be surprised mm-hmm. that me me and mohit started loving each other more and more every day mm-hmm. i can't explain to you that how much mohit loves me unconditionally and how much i love him so that's it is really great great uh, experience daphne yeah that's and then also that. one more thing i want to add yeah. uh, see when we are pregnant when we are carrying the baby we enjoy the pregnancy isn't it yeah yes or no yeah because of course right child yeah so it's a blessed time isn't it then the baby yeah. comes though it is such a you know uh, get up at night feeding there are so many trouble but still we are so happy we are excited and we are so joyful and yeah. we enjoy our baby correct but once they yeah. become 21 25 why don't we enjoy them why are we so troubled so i would suggest uh, what i do it is working for me i always uh, started to enjoy my children and i want to just be the best with them i want to love them whatever the mistakes they do i love them i because i want to yeah you are not audible i want to imitate christ and i am seeing wonders happening so i would say enjoy your children go into the imagination go into your thoughts 
and uh, take it them before father and you just enjoy every moment that your children are the best and uh, you are being rewarded you are being gifted and you're such a blessed mother then you will see wonders happening yeah that's what i said in the beginning no say ah, yeah. you know, so the blessing, blessing yeah. affirmation blessing yeah. okay so you know there is a synonym to the parenting is control okay what sneha asked when a baby you know whatever you feed it the baby will take the moment baby responses you know most of the time when parent and children fight is actually whenever we think you know the our ch ch child is acting very strange child is not acting strange actually you coming in different form you are actually facing mirror when whenever we deal with our children if our children are you know you know sometimes we feel very hurt or something it's actually we coming in our, we ourselves you know what we are coming in different form so you know i i'll tell you my experience whenever i had a bad time with my daughter i immediately know that it's me what she is doing is actually me she is my dna she is me and now what i am doing is i am fighting with me me fighting with me so what i'll do i surrender i said okay you whatever you like you do it so i am at peace because i never listen to anybody how can I, i think that my children will listen to me so this is this is the human issue you know when we are children we complain about parents when we become parent we complain about children we are actually continuously complaining so somehow one generation has to take rest and then the the it, it is like a chain reaction everyone start taking rest yeah she did something uh, you said not to me um, to start writing mm. um recently somebody came to me uh, asking me that uh, their child their daughter mm. is marrying somebody uh, much much uh, uneducated and not not having a job and things like that so uh the she said can you speak to the daughter so mm. when the daughter came uh, we spoke on the phone i just said one thing i said for the next one month see this is what i have been practicing for the next one month uh, just write one question on a paper and wait silently before the lord and god will speak to you about your decision i don't know i don't know the answer and i don't know which way to direct you but he knows it he will direct you so i led her to god and i didn't uh, didn't give her any uh, whether she should go ahead or not go ahead or whatever i didn't take that responsibility so i'm putting that in practice in my life and this is what i told this person yeah so thank you for that advice yeah i actually actually what happened to you you know all our we are all parents okay here everybody is even you know all are married and all have children and if if we compare ourselves in the society we are not really that you know intelligent that wise you know in a sense what i mean to say is we are not all known people okay not we are not experts of the things but how we guide our children with the expertise that we have which is actually a flaw in comparison to the world despite of all that we think what we say to our children is right instead we giving them a chance see son this is what i feel what you feel you know you you go around you know you seek yourself the answers lie within you ask yourself you know to go to god you choose you know so like that if you if we just you know parenting if we learn to surrender by knowing that we are not experts as we are learning let our children learn from the beginning you know because our parents are controlled you know our, my, my mother died very early age so uh, i i did not have that privilege of being controlled and then you know there are many others you know my aunt my grandmother my grandfather my father my uncles everybody is controlling but i'm saying what i'm saying is in my daughter like i never controlled her i never ever controlled her i just allowed her i i i controlled her when i was religious up till she is i think class 9 or 10 yeah i was religious so i was left and right controlling her after that i have not touched her whatever she wanted to do she do you know she is coming from college she is not studying i am okay with it you know i used to take her out just go whatever she likes you know so 
in 12th, 12th, see, see, uh, uh, 10th standard, she was very, you know, uh, scholar in a sense, above 90%, and she got a good uh, college, um, admission in a good college. And 11th, 12th, she did not do well. She did average 60%. So I, I told her, okay, whatever you like, you do it. And she, uh, what do you call, uh, she said, I'll do a BSc. So I, I got her admission into BSc. And then I was waiting. God told me, put her in engineering. Then I went out of my way to do everything, you know, because I never asked her to do whatever. But I, I, I told her everything, you know, if you pursue medicine, you'll become like that. I asked her, do you, do you have a desire to serve people? She said, no. Then I said, you don't go to medicine. Okay. In a sense, I, whatever I know, I gave her options. I gave her, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a best parent. I'm saying my experience. Okay. So I did, but I never controlled her after the, when I understood a little bit. So I think we about, especially about the marriage, we shouldn't control that, you know, and we are very insecure and very fearful about our children. It's all because we do not know who we are. We do not know who they are. Once we know who we are, we will never control our children. The only thing is, uh, it sounds uncaring when we take that path, like go to God and, you know. No, 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 no. See, like I'll tell you. You are not, you're not caring. You're, you don't want to assist in any way. So. See, I'll tell you, <clears throat> I am into a profession of ministry, okay, what people call it. And I cannot afford to tell others, go to God. I cannot afford to tell others to go. I'm not special than you. If somebody comes to me by prayer, I say, okay, you pray, I'll agree. If I say like that, I know they're not going to give any. They're not going to be depend on me. So I am against my profession. Why I'm doing that? Why I did that? Because I know who I am. I know whom I am dealing with. The people who are coming, they're sons of God. They are not my servants. They are not where I supposed to control them or I said to keep them into subjection. So I went against my profession. I mean, my profession is my call, my desire. I, I love to serve people. And I went against it. Actually, everything that I'm speaking against myself, in a sense, my, uh, my, my benefit. So what I'm doing, I'm denying myself, then taking up the cross and I'm following. And my ministry, whatever I'm doing, doesn't make any sense to anyone. This is what God desires because we have to set others free. In the name of ministry, we are binding people. We are, we are putting them into slavery. And in the name of parenting, we are putting our children into bondage. And we think we have given, a, I, I mean, as a parent, we want our children to be successful. We want our children to do whatever they like. Okay, or we some some wise people they they put their children into their business their uh, uh, you know whatever the profession they are in so that they know that it's the best profession for their children. What we are doing, we are giving our baton to them without asking God whether see, they are they are the person who's supposed to do it. How many of us really give our business to somebody else? Children, we want our children. A businessman always gives their business to their children. So what we are doing, we are passing it on to our generation and we don't know because we, we just think our family is a family, rest everybody is neighbors. So unless we change, nothing changes. You go into any ministries, any prayers, any blessings, affirmation, imagination, anything. End of the day, you will be speaking like Solomon. Vanity is vanity. All is vanity. So better. Now you be free and let them free. Uncaring who, who, who? I mean, how can we say uncaring? We, we have brought them and we, our heart is for them. No? No, no. So, um, what I'm saying is not, uh, not towards our children, but if somebody comes to us and, you know, for some help, we just say, you know, go to yeah, God. No, it no, sounds we, 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 no, no, sounds no. We, we, we help, uh, definitely we help them. But to the extent they need it, then we don't do babysitting. Most of the ministry is babysitting. Or most of the things what we do to others is babysitting. No, we are not supposed to babysit. It's not because we are something great. No, not babysit. It's... No, no, not babysit. But at least uh, that level of help or counseling in the initial stages. I mean, we all, we are not always uh, at a place where we are strong enough. We require each other. And so, see, we see, on each other. We counseling, from each other. yeah, counseling is is like a digesting tablet. 
he, he they have oh, indigestion you know digestion digestion no digestion tablet ah. Digest. It's counseling like a digestion tablet. They have a stomach upset. You give them digest. That time it is okay. But again, because their habit is wrong, they are eating wrong food. Their sleeping pattern is wrong. You know, their water intake is wrong. You know, kind of food they are eating is wrong. So what happens is again they will go into a digestion, indigestion. Then you cannot give again. You know that uh, what do you call uh, digestion? Then you will be keep on counseling them. So what you have to do is when they come, give them digestion and tell Baba you change your habits. Okay, you go to God because you know, I'll tell you if I if I you know go and uh, you know minister to people, minister to people, how many people I can really serve? I allow them to go to God. The people will free and they will be a multiply. You know the multiplication. How multi how multiplication taking place? Jesus. Uh, disciple twelve, and that twelve disciples so many, and th those disciples so many. If let's say if twelve disciples of Jesus, they will sit on one place and they will become a pillar and continuously like Moses, thousands of thousands of people serving. See, under Moses, nobody is a leader except Joshua and Caleb. So we have to see unless they learn their own way. No, the maturity comes when you learn from your mistakes. I don't know whether you guys are agree with me or not, but I am sharing my heart. Yeah, yes and no. Yes. Srida, so earlier you said that uh, uh, when you chose to be in a place of rest, at times you used to feel sad. Then how did you handle that emotion? Yeah, you see, uh, when I am sad, no. Before I know this courtroom prayers, when I was sad, I go into a place of loneliness. Okay, yeah. and then uh, since I have a conversation relationship with God, I used to talk and He used to set me free. Okay. And uh, sometimes, you know, I, I have learned, you know, out of my experiences. Like, for an example, when I am sad, sometimes I used to go on tongues for hours and hours. After that, I am free. You know, it's like that. You know, many things I tried and all that. Now I, I, I'm, I'm completely in rest. Anything that happens, uh, you know, thousand at my left and thousand at right, nothing happens to me. I am at rest. So there are some spiritual steps that you used to take. Yeah, I used to take what I know. So you have to take what you know, and then if it is not working, ask the Lord. You know, the asking Lord business has started four or five years back in my life. Before yeah. that, I was just doing what is my, you know, what my gut feeling says. No, our gut, 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 there is a gut feeling, okay, what we call intuition, is yes. also very helpful. Correct. Well, gut feeling is almost um, correct, yeah. right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Either. Gut feeling is also from the Lord, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's yes, intuition. Yes. It's intuition. Yeah. Yeah, that ability was given by God. Yeah, it is given to everyone. Yeah, given to everyone. Yeah, the more. So if you have a gut feeling, you you needn't go to the Lord, right? No, no, no. I now I if, even if I have a gut feeling, I ask Lord. Okay. See, I'll tell you, I am now. It may, and some of you may agree, some of you may not agree. Now, in certain cases, I don't ask Lord. I act, and what I will act, the act that I take, exactly what Lord wants me to do. Because my, I believe my heart is aligned with him. I join to him and become one spirit, which I, I may not, I, I agree that I'm not 100%, but I'm joined to him and I become one with him. I and he think similar. In many instances in my life, I don't ask him, I do it. And then I ask him, he says, yeah, what you did is right. So I'm saying we, we have to mature, you know, how many days, let's say you, you if, if our children, uh, let's say I'm, you know, 50 years. And if I go to father and ask what to do, he will be, he will be laughing at me. You're 50, you should decide for yourselves. So start hearing God, then the day will come that you will not ask him because whatever you do, because his, your heart is his heart is aligned. So he will do exactly what he wanted to do because you your heart is aligned with God. Okay. 
anyone want to add something or differ whatever i i just spoke if you don't agree that's fine okay you can speak on my face no problem yeah, yeah. what you say, spoke is uh, i mean that is making real good sense uh, but uh, they should have come to me maybe two three decades ago no, no but i am also learning don't think i am yeah. i am expert from the beginning yeah, i am yeah. also learning <laughs> i am also in my journey yeah, so, yeah. Jesus, as yeah. you said earlier, the religious system has come in so far. We became dependent on uh, pastors, prophets, and all that. So mm. that is really uh, no mean. one one dimension is we are setting ourselves free from the people whom we are depend on. Yeah. But the another level, we have to set others free who are depending on us. Yes, yes. We are. We, I mean, we are doing that now. Ah, so we have to do two things. One yeah. is we coming out of the bondage and we setting free those who are bound to us. Yeah, we have completely come out, completely come yeah. out. So nobody knows what's happening with us. We don't uh, go and discuss this but, with uh, others. But this was there is safety in the council of many, you know. We used to take it uh, in the literal sense. And everything earlier, we used to consult a lot of people. And that landed up in a lot of mess. Yeah, I see that scripture is... There is a safety in the council of people, those who hear God. Yes, let's yeah. say Job, Job is in the council of people, his two friends, and they spoke 33 chapters, 33 chapters of Job is full of nonsense. <laughs> See, why I, I why I emphasize people to form an ecclesia? Because ecclesia is a freedom. You know, you are listening to God. And the people who are listening to God come together and then in the Ecclesia, if you ask people now, they will counsel you right because they are all hearing God. Yeah. See, Ecclesia, a person cannot be part of Ecclesia if he is still part of the religion. Mm -hmm. Bound people. See, Ecclesia is very simple. Called out people. The God, God called out people from where he called out. He called out from the religious system yes. first. Even uh, we had, uh, I mean, uh, our experiences uh, taught us a lot of things like uh, uh, the, these prophecies, you know, it comes in part. So the person who gets the prophecy, uh, he interprets it in, in, uh, in his way, the way in which he has been brought up, his upbringing and all that, his background, all those things uh, reflect in. Uh, so the counsel that he gives is from, of course, it is coming from the Lord, but it is interpreted by him from his Maybe if he's 50 years, his 50 years of uh, life is uh, sort of interpreted. So, I mean, uh, we had, I mean, we have been a big mess, but thank God he has brought all of us out of that. And Actually, now... religion, no, they merchandise the prophetic office. Yes, yes. The prophecy, you know, it's become merchandise. Mm -hmm. I mean, see, I'll tell you, I mean, not now, even. 10 years back, in this regard, I am the same. I don't require any prophet to prophesy me. Because when my father is there, I am having a conversation with him. Why Why somebody has to prophesy me? Yeah, because we are already in connection with the father. But uh, yeah. we, we came to, know the, to that only a few years back. Mm. But once we come in, then uh, completely cut off from the others. Yeah, yeah. The, um, um, okay, Shyam. Okay, guys. If I if I spoke something which you know offended you guys, please forgive me. No, nothing like that, Shridhar. That the thing is, parenting is a big challenge. Oh, that is. Oh, I agree to that. But the thing is, sometimes to that the tussle. No, you said the best parenting is to rest, rest, right? Resting, rest in God, right? Sometimes we have to address that problem, oh, Shridhar. Sometimes. Yeah. So once what happened, Nathaniel did something and uh, I felt very bad uh, on his uh, behavior thing. But I'm thinking, I'm facing this problem. What will happen after five years, after 10 years, you know? I'm started, then I said, forget it. I'll not think, I'll let me be in the moment, you know? You know that's it. So learning to get into rest, you know, that is the mm -hmm. key. Yeah. Then the more I rest, as you said, no, the more I give it to God, no, the more mm -hmm. things become better. I mean, yeah. 
so i should not unnecessarily take that stress right that that helps in yeah that yeah. you said all of us are learning so yeah. thanks to you for your input you know. see the one thing we i appreciate yeah. about you is uh, you are not imposing it on uh, the uh, this jesus generation group i mean this is it and all of you should to follow this now that freedom is there so we all experience that freedom so i mean even if we have a difference of opinion okay we can just uh, keep it there and as when as and when the lord gives, brings in to us we will take it but uh, in the religious system it is not like that no oh, see i'll tell you the religious true. system is based on insecurity yes that's true and if you don't follow what the pastor says then uh, you are in trouble then don't come to us for anything yeah it's a, it's a private limited company you know people yes. otherwise other day that you know what uh, tony was saying i went to church i, I was saying tony it's not a church you know it, it's a private limited company some are you know uh, public uh, limited company some are you know uh, individual businesses it's all merchandising you know merchandise the entire the religious system yeah okay guys anyone wanted to share anything Yeah, yeah, I, I want, want to share. Okay. Okay, go ahead. No, go no, no. You continue later. Later. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to say is, I agree with you, uh, Shridhar. Whatever you said, and even with Anik, you know, regarding rest. Now, we as mothers, we tend to worry about our children. We tend to, you know, think about them all the time. You know, oh, what are they doing? This, that. Even after they are grown up, you know. So, what God taught me is to let go of them, detach myself from them. No attachment, you know. So I was. continuously detaching myself from them emotionally you know we are all emotionally we have these emotional ties so i was detaching and i was letting go and then if i had any situation i would bring it to the father and just rest in it so letting go and resting in him i feel is the key word you know to be at peace with yourself and to move on forward and help other people to overcome and thoughts always come thoughts always come and as you rightly said uh, you know shridhar you know change that thought reverse it okay so we are able to do it i always ask the holy spirit whenever i'm thinking wrongly you know unloving thoughts suddenly come about somebody some resentful thoughts and all i immediately i'm alerted by the holy spirit and i change that thought and i keep blessing that person and i keep saying positive things so and this is the way that thought goes it just goes i don't even think about it so yeah that's my <laughs> that's the way i overcome this situation yeah it's excellent Thank yeah God. Uh, that's what i i, I told shridhar in the beginning like blessing and uh, saying positive things yeah yes. our group is very powerful because we have some 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 of wisest women in this group that is sarcastic you know are kyu re bhai ne kuch bhi bola log mere ko negative samajh rahe yeah i agree with you the all are all are wise i agree thank you for the compliment neha apni all all are all are wise women well all are wise i don't know shridhar Yeah, wise. Yes, indeed, yeah. and the men yeah. also are wise. Yeah. Yo, thank, thank you, you thank you, Tarasa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> But let me let me tell you, you if somebody is giving you, you know, compliments, learn to receive it. Yes. Okay, we receive yeah. it. Thank let's you. say even let's say even if I'm saying sarcastically, it's my problem, not your problem. <laughs> okay. So we But appreciate. I, 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 yeah. Thank you for compliments. Yeah, you're welcome, Sneha. Of course, Sneha is the wisest. Of course, Sneha is the wisest. But you know, <laughs> truth. Yeah, all so, are wise. See, uh, see, all see, are wise see. and powerful. <laughs> see the. Yeah, it's confirmed by Anik. Sneha, you should appreciate mm. more yourself. <laughs> yeah, I would like to share something that happened today. Um. like you know uh, it's uh, it's been hot here in uh, mangalore and uh, 
so today uh, usually i am mean, in one place there's ac in a room and uh, usually we sleep there with my mom you know and uh, today what happened it was too hot and we were grumbling both of us saying it's too hot we have to go and sleep there as we were thinking about it no and we went inside we put the bed on the floor and uh, we were about to sleep uh, on the ac and uh, got to sleep the current went off and there is inverter in the house and the inverter you know if you know you will come uh, i'll come to know the inverter is on when the sound does a weird um, the fan does a weird sound so then after some time i said okay i have seen the ac also switching off once the inverter is on because there is no power to the connected to the inverter to it you know so today i just looked okay now uh, you know i thought there is no sleep today so we have to be awake and i saw the ac even after off no uh, even after the power went off it is still on i am thinking you no know, okay maybe you know there is some little bit uh, you know uh, shridha said that you know you put an inverter and uh, there will be a little power to something he said me i said okay then i waited i looked i looked i looked one uh, almost 30 minutes i looked it's still on but the uh, whole house is uh, on with the inverter the lights are on with the inverter especially the power supply uh, the connecting the fridge and all no they are not connected to the inverter so i just went i went to <laughs> check the fridge i went and check the washing machine which i had kept it on everything is off but the ac is on i was just thinking you know what has this happened i'm still i'm doubting myself i went to the uh, uh, what is it uh, the main power main, uh, main, yeah. main power i went and checked there whether the electricity is on there or not because there's a light that comes no so that mm-hmm. was also not there then i went wow. to the neighbor's uh, house and asked is there any electricity in your house you know <laughs> said they said i he said uh, there this inverter let me go and check whether uh, there is a uh, power or not then he went and uh, she, uh, she checked and she said uh, no ma there is no power she said then i came again and i came and slept and i am saying she that she said don't you think this is weird he said no no maybe you have not seen because i have seen whenever the power is shut off no the current goes off i have seen the ac switch off then i just engaged i said she that let's engage and ask father what it is <laughs> so i went and uh, <laughs> we both we both went uh, and asked father father what is it father said i love you so he was concerned about our sleep you know our way you know we want to sleep but there was no electricity at all but the ac worked for two and a half hours till we got up and then the power came and then then the rest of the thing started to work this was an amazing testimony for us wow awesome awesome yeah <laughs> I have never uh, seen this happen but uh, you are a real uh, great investigator <laughs> yeah 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 definitely i'm thinking for your no, patience I'm, I'm... for your patience we should do the big namaskara <laughs> <laughs> really i was thinking and i woke up i slept for two, one and a half hours again i woke up still there is ac on i said no i will not off the ac if it off my off it may, may not work again <laughs> so finally at 6 o'clock i think the power came then you know uh every every appliances were on and this was something very strange and weird for me today yeah awesome, awesome. and father awesome. said you know father said father said that even you know today when we were engaging even you don't know that uh, you know i care about you this is how he showed his care you know he showed an a small example that you know there is uh, uh, you know uh, Uh, when uh, i think uh, yesterday i think when we engaged he said the natural laws will not affect you yeah man man yeah I so agree. Yeah. Yeah. supernatural is natural yeah. for you yeah 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 exactly mm-hmm. sneha you remember this guy no jesus what is his name jesus yeah yeah jesus natural uh, naturally supernatural something he says yeah I yeah yeah. Forgot. Correct, yeah yeah actually actually told me you know the jesus team they are uh, you know uh, riding their bikes without putting petrol you know car, car, like that. petrol and car car uh, yeah yeah. yeah yeah and uh, that time we were all used to these things and many things have happened to us also 
money has come in petrol doesn't get over so many people don't pay the electricity bill because it is the same so we have even, even we, simple thing like paste also no even paste simple thing yeah yeah but ac Aapu on this is i have not heard that, but anyway this is a very awesome testimony okay uh, i just wanted to you know shake that can be shaken with a small example those who are not seeing you know those who are not seeing and if they are brushing two times a day it is very difficult for you to see could you repeat that in the other state again yeah. state i mean those who those who cannot see into the spirit realm hmm. and if they are brushing two times it's it will be very difficult to see brushing what yeah, is brush, brush, brushing tooth 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 brush toothpaste we use toothpaste right why okay yeah because the toothpaste inside the toothpaste there is something called fluoride and the fluoride is designed to take away your spiritual sense in in technically it it, it is impacting your third eye oh so what should we do to keep our teeth clean i mean why have you seen the line brushing you know animals brushing why you have to brush this is imposed on us see the brushing no it is imposed on us and by saying bad breath actually bad breath is not because of the gums it's basically because of the upset stomach correct bad breath is basically root cause is stomach okay and let me tell you i actually myself and leera in last two years we must have breast maybe a 10 times so morning also, <laughs> so three the morning also you don't brush you no, never brush. no even 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 we even i don't feel you know i i normally we sleep together so i don't feel her, i i am used to her breath and she is used to my breath so no problem with us okay so won't your teeth become okay. yellow Yeah, yeah let it be i mean if it is yellow i i i take some you know ayurveda thing and then clean it for some time that's all oh you can take ayurveda stuff ayurveda means anything that doesn't have fluoride oh only fluoride is the problem yeah only fluoride so, so tooth powder so, you can use no without, tooth powder also you will have the best is you use you know you use that there is a neem neem leaf is there yeah neem, neem leaf is best yeah, but if you, you buy get, uh, any any commercially anything you buy no it will be fluoride. definitely fluoride Uh, see that what is the harmful effect of fluoride is it it doesn't allow to no it will it will it will break your spiritual sense that means third eye is being damaged by that okay. it is see there are many things i would not say satan but the schemes of man came in to destroy the spiritual sense of people mm-hmm. as the ganja ganja what we saw last time if so, uh, you know the angel would have not shown us we could have not gone and discussed about it the cannabis cannabis tree it is systematically removed from india so that the people will not you know they, they cannot do the medical medicine business and also alcohol they cannot promote so they removed the ganja yeah actually that was the, there was a lobby that time you know ganja yeah, and yeah. homeopathy still, they ensured still, that still, many people still, know there is a medical property but these people this pharmacy company they made a big lobby ensure yeah. that ganja is banned in india itself yeah, yeah. there are so, some yeah, I mean, recently yeah everything um, is actually everything actually i'll tell you if you just research how human being is surviving it's because of the grace of god all our food is almost adulterated the water is contaminated air is polluted okay anything that you take is polluted actually but despite of all that man is surviving you know they tried their level best to kill us in corona but they failed i mean they means a system let's say okay so they are continuously doing that you know that all the drugs that we use synthetic drugs that are not at all good for health but still we are surviving so sridha after all these years of brushing lot of damage would have happened so how do we rectify that stop it first okay. first step is to stop second is wait on the lord ask jesus for guidance okay or find no. some without fluoride I, uh, yeah but no, 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 no. anything you take it it will have fluoride oh. no See, there are two things now that yeah, yeah. have no fluoride there are two things herbal toothpaste like dove 
they don't have any fluoride mm. acha maybe maybe but i am i what i i got a sense is most all of the because see uh even ayurveda what we call is actually a business now ayurveda is supposed to be a small firm they are bringing you know uh, things from uh, now i think if you if you go through the himalaya india india one company is the himalayan company yeah, yeah. they everything ayurveda okay but there are very less ayurveda actually most of it is a business so yeah. i mean if there is if you find anything is good you use it otherwise the best is a uh, normal method actually what happened is this, this you know dentistry it's a big industry okay and they taught us you know we, we are all misguided to brush our teeth two times mm-hmm. you know we have to and we teach our children we are fools we are teaching we are making other fools and everybody is brushing everyone is brushing despite of all this brushing that we are doing for hours still we go to doctor the cavity all that everything is happening what brush is saving us from mm-hmm. so we need to ask question what whatever we are doing is it doing because somebody has told us or feel like see i also brush when i feel my mouth is asking me to brush then only i brush and my mouth asks once in a month so i am okay with it and it, it may look strange but you know i, I when i was getting into this journey for me is also strange but now it becomes a part of my life so makeup and such things also could uh, pose such problems yes all human psychic problem because of the makeup that insecurity you know women is by design beautiful but why they have to do so much makeup because they think they are not beautiful and this all comes for the chemical impartation of the makeup entire makeup framework is to destroy the psyche of women but who is going to listen apart from that will it block uh, our spiritual eyesight no no see one is spiritual eyesight and you you also need a healthy mind to go into spiritual no if you don't have a healthy mind what you will do with the spiritual insight so that's what i'm saying we need to listen to god yes yeah here him he will slowly see i am still i believe i am in hundreds of deceptive things but as god as i am allowing he is opening up one one realm i am walking in and don't do anything because i am saying you ask lord whatever he says you do it don't stop brushing from tomorrow just because i just told <laughs> you you ask jesus what he says you do it yes i think we need to take an inventory of all that we do and uh, check it out with the lord and then mm. decide yes. yes and also ask while doing it ask the things i forgotten to put into my inventory yeah 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 okay anyone else and uh, just a joke you know i had to add to that you know i was sharing with my mother about this she you know i told her because you know the ac this 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 so she said call the ac person maybe and say him that the ac is not working without power <laughs> AC is working without power. <laughs> Just laughing at it. No, no. So basically, our mother said there is something wrong with the AC. Lodge a complaint. <laughs> uh, something wrong with the AC? Yeah, our mother thought. See, see huh? our, our wise woman explained her another wise mother <laughs> about this miracle. So what happened is her mother thought there is something wrong with AC. She asked. Lira to go and complain about the guy who you know manufactured this. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, okay. miracle cannot be explained. No, that's why it is miracle. Yeah. No, no, no. She, she is not. I know she is old age and also. Yeah, yeah, understood, understood. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, any anything else? So today, are we going to engage in the tabernacle, Shridhar, or? what do you guys you want to engage or you want to take rest today engage guys 
अरे साइलेंट जीसस जनरेशन ग्रुप कभी कभी बात कर लो यार ऑल्टर Uh, sneha you if you want you can share today uh, before we get into altar you can if okay. you have notes with you you can share what happened or what is happening when you are engaging with altar what is happening with when you engaging uh, the upper waters or lever okay what i have written what i have written and whatever you know i mean you you okay. know right we all know what is happening at the altar yeah. what is happening at the upper water so yeah. you can yeah. share which in the beginning i restricted you So yeah. now the, it's a expert time, so you can speak. Okay. <laughs> Just a moment. I'll take my book. Uh, at the altar, like it is three four days written, so. i should read everything or whatever whatever you are comfortable with yeah. okay 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 so at the altar what i heard is be still i am god and i am your strength and i am an all in all and i am perfect you are my elohim el shaddai you are i am your healer he loves me yesterday today tomorrow the same 2000 2000 years ago he became one with me and he is the author and finisher and he is he was telling me to just get consumed the more you get con- consumed uh, you will get into me more and more that was at the altar and the upper water he owns me cleanses me with deep love he has enthroned uh, enthroned me and uh, i'm just getting cleansed and becoming like him and uh, more and more i'm looking at him and i'm getting cleansed every day more and more he is the alpha omega emmanuel his life is in me and that is my life i'm surrounded by him i'm sitting with him i'm sitting on his lap he's hugging me we are having heart to heart connection i saw that uh, his heart and my heart it's getting connected and there is a light which is uh, getting transferred to each other and we are having a exchange of connection and i'm infused in him and my desire is becoming his desire and i'm just caught up in him and uh, i'm just getting engaged in him and the serpent seed and uh, nephilim seed it's been thrown out of me so i'm just summarizing okay of 3 4 days and then in upper water uh, i mean at the altar like his light is my hope and uh, he's helping me to get into the glorious realm and i'm getting more and more focused on him and uh, he's taking me to the place where i have never seen uh, things like uh, more and more uh, flying high and then a uh, lot of things i saw like different creatures and a different kind of transformation and uh, different experience was in the altar then uh, again upper water i was floating i was swimming and then uh, i saw a pink color water silver color water and these waters are changing and even i am changing has the water is changing and internal transformation and uh, every cell in my body and every nerve in my body is getting into transformation and then again uh, the next day it was at altar i saw that uh, i've seen this in um, you know this he- superhero movies i've seen uh, this kind of uh, scene like uh, oh, what do you say that some lights are coming uh, out of the hero superhero no the movies i'm sure you guys have watched so i saw that jesus is having a crown of light 
it was very very evident it was like me and jesus we were in the movie and uh, this electronic uh, things what i saw on his head it's uh, getting connected to me and all the, what he's uh, looking like and uh, like we have become twins and we are looking alike and that electronic things what he has even i have and uh, my nerves uh, my nerves are experiencing that uh, light that electronic things which happens in the movies that kind of scene and then my internal changes are happening then i'm radiating his light his eyes are full of light and i'm getting rewired and uh, i'm getting into reformation it's a different kind of transformation happening within the eyes at the altar and i'm rooted i'm rooted and i'm seated with the father and then i'm entangled with him and i saw that his heart and my heart is getting entangled together and then again upper water cleansing all things uh, like he's taking me to every step i saw there is a staircase there are like um, uh, 10 or 15 staircase so every step he's taking me and uh, different experience was happening and uh, different feeling i was getting into that ah uh, yeah that's all